let's talk about how you can make money using Adobe InDesign. Now, I don't talk about Adobe InDesign specifically. I mostly talk about it on how to create a planner, how to create workbooks, how to create notebooks, like with an end goal in mind. However, you might just be interested in how to monetize your Adobe InDesign skills and what you can do with them and where you can get the best bang for your buck. So let's talk about that today. I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous, and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I do unboxings on Saturday. Today, let's talk about how you can make more money. Now, in this video, I'm going to assume you know how to use Adobe InDesign or you are thinking about increasing your Adobe InDesign skills so that you can leverage those in a professional capacity. So the number one way, and this is probably the easiest, is to just get a job. And someone is going to pay you a salary, they're going to pay you benefits, or maybe you have a contract position. Either way, this is going to be the surest and easiest way for you to start monetizing your graphic design skills. Now, who hires people who know how to use Adobe InDesign? That would be magazines, that would be newspapers, that would be publishing companies that do cookbooks. So just think of anything that is in a textbook sort of format that needs a layout design professional. So. That is number one. And if you look, I just looked online the other day and there are jobs out there. I looked on indeed.com, which is, if you are not familiar with that, Indeed is what is called a job site aggregator. What that means is they are going to crawl the web for different companies, for Munster, for CareerBuilder, or other job posting platforms that have to pay, and Indeed will just consolidate all of them for you in one location. So if you're looking for a job, instead of going to a million different sites, that is going to be your best bet. Now, number two is you can teach classes. Now, I think the best way for you to make money right away is teaching in-person classes. There just aren't a lot of in-person classes. You can set up a shingle somewhere or post an ad or put something on Eventbrite. But I think if you are able to team up with a company that already teaches software, like General Assembly. So if you've never heard of General Assembly, they're kind of cool. They teach a lot of coding classes. They teach all of the Adobe applications and they take people from the community and have them as their instructors. Obviously you do a, a split with them for the payments, but it doesn't really matter because they are the ones doing all the marketing and gathering people. And they are also taking care of all of the equipment for you for the overhead projector, the classroom, checking in and all that other stuff. So that's a really great opportunity for you to teach classes as well as if you are really into Adobe InDesign, I would highly recommend getting certified by Adobe. So if you become a certified Adobe InDesign professional, and there is, you can go onto their website, there's a series of tests and exams that you have to take in courses, but if you are, then you can become an official Adobe certified instructor. And what that means is then you could teach at universities and their extension schools. You can teach at corporations that are maybe have a special class on Adobe InDesign. It just helps open the door to more, um, I don't want to say legitimate, but more lucrative um, B2B type of situations where you can start teaching. Now, the third way is you can create printables. So when I learned Adobe InDesign, um, I saw that a ton of people were making printables. They were beautiful. They obviously weren't the stuff in Canva because otherwise you would just make it for yourself in Canva, but they were really nicely laid out. And they were just selling those as digital downloads, which means you don't have to pay for printing. And they were selling those on Etsy. They were selling those as wall art. They were selling them on a ton of different platforms. So that is one thing that you could do. The fourth one, which is very much related to that, is that you could do custom work. So you could kind of, what I say, hang a shingle out on the internet and say, I am a designer that specializes in creating, and I wouldn't say you specialize in InDesign. I would say you specialize in creating, you know, business cards. You create logo, or I guess you could do, still do a logo in InDesign. You create magazines, you do cookbooks, you do eBooks. All of those things that you could do for people, I have a list called the top 64 things you can create using Adobe InDesign. So I would go through that for both number three, which is the printables, 
three <laughs> and number four, which is custom work and start going through and seeing what things you like making and then testing it out and making a couple things and putting that up as your portfolio. And I would stick that on Upwork or uh, whatever platform you think or your website, wherever you think you are going to gain some attention. So that is what I would start with. I will leave the link for that digital download below. Um, and then the fifth, which is you could write a book but specifically you could write a training manual. So people, I know this is crazy, but people are still buying books, like physical books. So when I went to the bookstore the other day, there are a ton of InDesign books, but they were super old and outdated. So as you know, Adobe InDesign comes out with a new update every year when they do Adobe Max or maybe you don't know that, but the Adobe Max conference typically happens in the summer. And then during that, annual conference, they will announce all these great new bells and whistles they have. And when you go into your Adobe products, you'll notice that there's a huge, massive update. So what I would do if I were you is I would start drafting your training manual, but then don't really finalize it until the new updates come out because then your book will be the latest and greatest. And you can say, I have the, this training manual incorporates the updates that were just done in July of 2019 or whatever it is. And for sure that will send you to number one in search rankings and make your book the most relevant because who wants to buy an outdated textbook? All right. That is really my top five ideas on what you can do with Adobe InDesign. So let's just recap really quick. One is to get a job. The second is to teach classes. The third is to create printables. The fourth is to do custom work. And the fifth, the fifth is to write a manual. All right, I hope that was helpful and definitely download the top 64 things you can create using Adobe InDesign to spark some ideas for you. Now, if you are new and you're just watching this and you're not even sure about Adobe InDesign, make sure to sign up for InDesign 101, which is five, I said five, but I think there's actually six lessons in there that specifically teach you how to use Adobe InDesign in order to edit any of my printables. Um, I shouldn't say my printables, my templates templates, printables, they're very different. So Adobe InDesign 101 is a quick five lesson course, which you can binge watch in one sitting if you want. And it has a workbook that goes with it. And it will walk you through everything you need to edit any of the templates in my shop, which then you can just have as your own and sell on your shop. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.